Let us discuss. Let us discuss the code of fragment one. The fragment one class is used to schedule the meeting. As I told in the previous uh, part, this is a continuous. This is a this is continuation of previous part. The previous in the previous part we have studied how to create database to store the data. Now. when we schedule the meeting using fragment 1 then data need to be stored stored in the database first we have to schedule the meeting to schedule the meeting the code is uh, given in the fragment 1 and this fragment 1 is a activity okay you have to create a activity fragment 1 in the app okay right click on the app and select create new activity okay new then activity okay you have to select activity and then empty activity you have to select empty activity okay as soon as you select empty activity display empty activity and fragment name we have given as fragment 1 it shows fragment layout 1.xml uh, which is xml file of that activity If you double click on fragment layout one dot xml, it shows you design. Okay, uh, the design of fragment one dot xml is given here. Uh, design of fragment one dot xml interface. Okay, this is a fragment one interface. Here there is text view, text view, text view for date, time, meeting agenda, and this we are going to type here date. here we are going to type time and here we are going to type meeting agenda and this is calendar calendar we are going to um, create using widgets that i already shown in the previous example uh, in the previous uh, part in the first part of this program okay now how the code works we see when we click on add meeting schedule whatever we typed or selected from the calendar that date and in time whatever we typed and meeting agenda whatever we typed should be stored in the database for that purpose we see fragment 1 uh, dot java file okay see fragment 1 dot java file and here uh, public class fragment 1 extends the fragment you know uh, fragment 1 is Uh, our own class uh, that uh, we created the activity and then here extends extends indicates uh, it uh, extends from the base class okay okay the base class is fragment okay base class is fragment okay now this extends fragment we have to type extends fragment we have to type because when you click on the main activity uh, when you run the main activity this will be the activity uh, which uh, executes as the first tab okay therefore you have to type extends fragment here and then you know the edit text you have already created for date time and then agenda and then there is a database connection object dbc okay and then there is a calendar view object named as calendar view when you give extends fragment uh, it allows you to import the class okay fragment okay and you have to import fragment class uh, that will be shown as a suggestion by this app now we know we are created different objects for uh, edit text database connection and for calendar view and for button now we are going to map the object with the, our user interface user interface is txt date txt time we are going to map to date and time 
and agenda uh, to agenda as well as now there is button btn1 we are mapping to btn and there is calendar which uh, id is uh, mcal okay and we are mapping it to calendar view and dbc is a database object we are selecting new database connection and get activity and calendar view dot set visible uh, is now currently invisible at the beginning calendar view will be invisible okay next date dot set on click listener okay now here when uh, the text we uh, text box edit text box to type the date okay when we uh, keep the mouse or click click the mouse on that edit text then set on click listener method will be called and here you know set on click listener uh, is a method which takes the view dot on click listener as the parameter and then uh, on click method we are going to implement as uh, click on event now see there is a function called close keyboard is uh, called because when you click on uh, the text view date then calendar need to be displayed indicates you have to select the date from the calendar not allowed to type from the keyboard okay therefore first calendar view dot set visibility is view dot visible the calendar view is visible and then when you select a date from the calendar then calendar view dot set on date change listener event will execute okay on uh, when you select appropriate date the date need to be uh, displayed in the edit text to access selected date there is a method implemented on select date change and from the calendar view object year month and day of month is taken as a parameter and the day of month slash month plus one slash year indicates month is started from zero it has to be incremented by one okay and then year then date all will be concatenated with the slash and stored in the string variable d and edit text date will be set as this selected date and then calendar view will be invisible okay by using calendar view dot set visibility view dot invisible thus we are setting the meeting date from the calendar next is uh, the meeting agenda and meeting time we have to type okay in the fragment one interface this we have to type okay and next when you click on button me schedule meeting or save meeting okay when you click on button add meeting schedule add meeting schedule then this uh, new view on click listener method need to be implemented okay and the on click method is defined as you know when you are going to click on button then the whatever date time and meeting agenda you have given in the edit text has to be saved in the database to save it in the database following procedure is used first three variables are declared and from the text box or edit text box whatever date time agenda is uh, stored it will be extracted by using get text command 
and stored in the m date m time m agenda and next these three variables now having meeting date meeting time and agenda now uh, it has to be inserted in the database to insert in the database dbc dot insert value dbc dot database object dot insert value insert value method user defined method is called uh, sorry it is not user defined method it is built in method built in method of insert uh, dbc or database object dbc dot insert value is called with date time and meeting agenda meeting date meeting time and meeting agenda as the parameters and uh, if the data is inserted see insert value is uh, this uh, system defined method of database object okay the value will be inserted and if insert equal to true then it displays the message data inserted else it displays the message data not inserted it displays the message data not inserted okay and this will be done in the database if data is inserted it displays the message data inserted this is about addition of data in the database okay in the previous uh, part i already told how to create a database okay here uh, database connection object you have to create and in that uh, you know how to uh, override two methods and insert value see insert value public boolean insert value is a method which is uh, defined here with these three parameters therefore see here insert value is nothing but user defined method not system defined method and uh, here i have told as uh, so it is uh, uh, user defined method okay it is a user defined method insert value is a user defined method not system defined method and this insert value method need to be defined in the database connection dot java and parameters will be received and a database connection see there are many steps first getting object of writable database and storing uh, the content value as a cv content value object and then uh, calling insert method then calling insert method to insert for inserting data in the database it is uh, using writable database object that is db and use the db dot insert method and method uh, the table name is meeting table and content is cv as the third parameter if a result is successful means if the uh, data is inserted successfully it returns uh, true otherwise it returns false okay this is database method insert value which is user defined method okay now in the fragment one the code is written to store the meeting schedule in the database next fragment two fragment two the code is written to retrieve meeting schedule okay and when you create a activity fragment 2 it uh, shows empty activity but you have to design the interface you have to design the interface to design the interface you have to design any uh, this is text view select a date to get meeting detail and then uh, similarly here it displays the calendar and when you have to when you are going to select date from the calendar and click on search to get meeting detail it fetches from the database for that purpose a fragment 2 a fragment 2 dot java is used uh, when you click on fragment 2 there is uh, yeah, extends fragment similarly as I told in the previous 
example extends fragment you have to give okay and this uh, we see uh, in the next part of the uh, recording okay because uh, otherwise it will be very big